Hey everyone, welcome to the Happy Cancer Tarot channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. Um, before I get into your reading, I was feeling this energy around work for you guys. Like I feel like someone is about to get some sort of opportunity when it comes to their job, when it comes to their career. I feel like it's going to be something that has to do with travel for some of you. I'm just getting here like this really strong energy around work and also romance. Like a couple, you and someone else, some sort of romantic link. Let's see what's going on here. Cancer, sun, moon, rising. Yeah, I feel like um, some of you may have to travel for this career opportunity. I feel like it's going to take you out of your comfort zone. You may have to do something that you are not used to doing. I feel like it could be a career change for someone. We got family room coming in. Then we got her toiling and laboring. Yep. Something to do. I told you I felt like something going on with the work for you guys. Let's take one more. Cancer, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. I got see here a journey. You may have to travel for this. So something is going on inside of someone's home. Something that's not known to the public. What's going on in this family room? What is this about for cancers? Thoughts. Something you're thinking about. But you're not sharing this. You're keeping this to yourself. So when you're inside of your home... There's some sort of thought that you're having. What is this thought that Cancer is having? Oh my gosh, another family room is coming in. I feel like you want to know what's going on inside of someone else's home. Inside of your home, you're thinking about what's going on inside of someone else's home all right so let's see what's going on since you want to know what's going so whoever the person is that's on cancer's mind what's going on inside of their home what's going on inside of their life whoever the person is that cancer is thinking about so whoever this person is we got poverty coming through they're going through some sort of hard time cancers inside of their home they're going through something difficult. Hmm. And this isn't just like poverty in the state of like money woes. That could be one of the things. This is someone that's going through a dark period in life. They're feeling very down and out. They're feeling broken, actually. Something has come to an end. We got three plus seven. This goes ten. There's some sort of ending that has them feeling broken. What else is going on inside of their home? occupation something is going on in um, with their career what's going on with their career marriage I feel like look at here we got adjudication I told you they are going through an ending I feel like they're concerned about money like their career because of a marriage, maybe someone taking their money, maybe having to go to the court. See, we got a privileged lady. They're concerned about their job, their checks getting garnished. Because remember I said an ending. Three plus seven equals an end. They're going through some sort of separation inside of their home. And they are concerned that the person that they're separating from or breaking up with, that situation is going to affect them financially. I'm getting here energy of feeling like there's going to be some sort of verdict to have their checks garnished. Whether it's for alimony, child support, there's some sort of issue around that for this person. We got gift in reverse. So I don't feel like this person has anything to give. Which is why the gift card is coming out in reverse. So whoever this person is that you're wondering about what's going on inside of their home, um, that's what we're presently seeing. Let's get some oracles around this energy. 
Yeah, see, we got secret coming in. Some sort of secret. What is this about inside of their home for the person on cancer's mind? Fear. They're afraid. Why are they afraid? Because of some sort of surprise. Something caught them off guard. What caught them off guard? This is like a lead into a trip. Uh-oh. What was this surprise that caught them off guard? It happened in the past. Nostalgia. Something happened in the past that caught them by surprise. And now they're afraid. I don't know why. They're afraid of intimacy because of something that happened to them in the past with someone else. They got some sort of surprise in their relationship with another person. And now they're afraid of being intimate. What was the surprise? What happened? That person was wearing a false mask. Yep, because there was some sort of betrayal here. They got betrayed by someone that they were in a relationship with. Some sort of secret came out. And this happened in the past. And so now they're afraid of bonding. Now they're afraid of getting close to someone because of this betrayal that they experienced. So whoever this person is that you're thinking of, that's what's going on inside of their home. They're afraid that their money is going to get garnished from someone that they were in a relationship with. They don't feel like they have anything to give. Because of some sort of past relationship, they were surprised to see someone's true colors. They got betrayed by this person that was close to them. And because of that, they're afraid of true intimacy, okay? So there you have it. So let's see what's going on here with this toiling and laboring for you guys. Hmm... So I'm seeing here some sort of blessing because of your toiling and because of your laboring. I feel like you're about to be blessed for perseverance, for hanging in there. Yeah, yeah see, here comes a message. There's some sort of message that's hit it your way, Cancers, because of the perseverance. I feel like Spirit is about to bless you. I feel like you've been concerned about something in your life. But you're about to get some sort of message. And this is divinely orchestrated. Something is going on behind the scenes that you don't see. So while you're toiling and laboring, spirit is orchestrating something um, good to happen in your life. Yeah, see here comes an official person. Something official. So this is going to be from some sort of institution, some sort of business. I feel like it has to do with your career. Tell me more about this message. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at here. Great fortune. Whatever the message is, that's what I'm saying. Like, it feels like a blessing. And I feel like this has been going on behind the scenes. So you have been concerned, right? And whatever it is that you've been concerned about, I feel like it had been weighing on you heavily. But what you don't see is that there's a message that's coming your way. And this is an official message. So it's going to come on some sort of, like I said, government document. This could be um, a refund, like a tax refund. Maybe there are some issues around taxes and you're about to get this letter. And it's going to show that you actually receive money. Where you may have thought you owed money. But they're going to say, no, you, you receive money. This could be some sort of like business loan coming through. Um, this could be some sort of inheritance coming through, but you're about to receive a letter from an official person, an institution, and this letter is going to show great fortune. But this is favor. This is spirit showing you favor. They're about to bless you. That's what you need to know about this. So while you're toiling the labor and feeling concerned and thinking that things are not going to work out, it's actually going to work out in your favor. Let me get um, another card with this for cancer. Tell me more about toiling and laboring for cancers. 
Your, see, look at this. See, you can't make it up. It says here, your life will start to move forward in a new direction and you will be met with the realization that you are outgrowing certain connections in your life. Your life is about to start moving forward. So with this new fortune, um, this is going to put you into a position of where, and I'm seeing here a journey. I feel like something is coming to an end and there's a new start th that's going to take place for you guys. We're going to unpack that in a second. But um, I feel like here, you may be, since this came out first, because normally this type of stuff will come out towards the end. But it came out first. This makes me feel like you may be leaving this situation behind. Whoever this person is that has been on your mind, that you've been thinking of in your home and wanting to know what's going on inside of their home, inside of their life. I feel like you're going to leave that behind for some reason. Let me, as a matter of fact, let's see, because I feel like you may have outgrown the connection. Let me see. How does um, Cancer feel about this past connection? With this person that was on their mind. Let's see how you guys feel. See, Wheel of Fortune. I, this, you can't make it up, guys. This fortune, this change, this turn of event is going to change how you feel about that situation. The will is going to change. When you get this message of fortune, you're going to start moving forward in a new direction and you're going to get a realization because it says you will be met with the realization that you are outgrowing this connection and it's going to come when you get this great fortune you're going to be like i don't i don't need this tell me more about cancers when it comes to this person from the past the magi oh my gosh look at here the seven of wands Standing your ground, defending yourself, having very strong boundaries, being very assertive. The magician card, you're manifesting great fortune. The magician is someone that's very creative, has some sort of unique idea, a unique project that you're working on. This money that's going to come in, I feel like you're going to use it to manifest. You're going to use it to invest in yourself, invest in some sort of product, invest in your gift, invest in your talent. Fortune. These are major arcanas. So this money is going to be a big deal for you. It's going to lead to fortune and favor, like I said. And you're going to realize that you've outgrown this connection when you start manifesting this fortune. When you start getting busy working. Because I feel like when you get this money, you're going to use it to invest in some sort of product that I feel like, uh, or invest in yourself, invest in some sort of gift that you have. This makes me feel like maybe starting a side hustle, being an entrepreneur. Here comes the page of cups that fell out. Why did that card fall out for cancers or about this reading? Why is this page of cups here? Mm, someone, this person is going to still be dreaming about you. Yep, I thought this person is still going to be dreaming about you. They're still going to be crushing on you. Um, this is someone that I feel like fantasizes about you, but not only fantasizes about you, they're hoping and wishing to apologize to you. Tell me more about this. Yeah, they want to make some sort of amends with you, but they're in their head about it. It's like just a fantasy. It's like wishful thinking. I wish I could apologize to you. I wish I could tell you how I really feel. Because for some reason they don't, well, we not some reason. We already know they have an um, issue when it comes to intimacy. They fear intimacy. We got the devil and the judgment card coming in. So I feel like the reason why they're in this wishful thinking type of energy when it comes to you, because of some sort of judgment that you may have made, because obviously we see you came to some sort of realization. So I feel like this person is going to be wishing and longing for you, fantasizing about you, um, wishing that they could just talk to you. But you made a judgment about them because of something toxic here with this double card coming in. Something unhealthy. This makes me feel like, again, that's that realization. That's what the judgment card. I feel like this is a card for you guys where it comes with self-reflecting. So I feel like with this judgment, this is like taking a look at your life 
It's like, you know, here, it's like judgment day. And then you go over all the things that have happened in your life. I feel like that's what you're going to be doing. That's why we see here a realization because you're going to be looking at the relationships. You're going to come to some sort of realization about how unhealthy and toxic the relationship was for you. And you're going to make a judgment and say, I've outgrown that. That is not something that I want. I want a healthy love. I want someone that's not toxic. I want someone that is going to be honest. I want someone that's going to be emotionally available, not someone that's going to be in this page and in this energy of fear, right? Someone that has fear when it comes to bonding, someone that's not being honest themselves, right? I feel like you're going to realize something about what you experience with this person and you're going to decide that you no longer want that. And that's why it says here, a realization that you have outgrown certain connections. This looks really good for you. And what I mean by really good, I'm talking about the fortune because I feel like you're going to use this, this experience but and things in life to manifest something good. You're going to take, it's like you're going to take what you've been through and use it to inspire you to create. I'm feeling glad to pull this deck for you guys. Yeah, look at here, a glow up. Okay, you're about to have some sort of major glow up. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, signs. What's this about? I'm feeling really good energy because it's like you've been through so much. You've been working so hard, laboring, and then here comes this news and your life is about to change. You're about to move forward in a new direction. We got here releasing releasing yes 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 you're going to be releasing something or someone what else for my cancerians see feeling confident this this change this new this message with this money whatever it is that's coming your way it's going to make you feel confident it's going to make you feel good it's going to make you feel like you can do anything that's why you're going to get to work the magician is a hustler you're going you have goals and you're going to be working to accomplish those goals releasing this past situation then we got here joyfulness look at the under our energy Letting go of old wounds, feeling joyful as you let go of something old, some sort of old wound. Inner child, healing your inner child. See, here comes that realization. You acquired some sort of knowledge and look at here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> See, you acquired knowledge. That's that message. You got good news coming your way. I feel like you were not expecting this good news. When this great fortune come, when you get this knowledge, you're going to let go of, some, of this situation of old wounds, healing your inner child. That's nice. It's going to make you feel good. This news is going to change your life. I'm feeling led to pull one more prophecy. What's the prophecy for cancer? And then we'll move on to journey. Oh, two of them came out. I was I wasn't really expecting to pull one, but I grabbed two by accident. But it wasn't an accident. So the first one is this year will provide big changes for you. Hello, cancers. Big changes. Do you hear me? Let that seek in. This is not something small. This is a big deal. This message and this great fortune. So much so, spirit showed you great fortune twice. Let me remind you, you got great fortune right here and spirit showed you great fortune here. This is a big deal, which is why spirit is saying this year, you're about to have the best year of your life. This year will provide big changes for you. You will undergo a transform a transformative period throughout all aspects of your life. See, I didn't even want to mention it, but I did see after we saw letting go of wounds, inner child healing, acquiring knowledge, I saw welcoming love. But I didn't want to say it, but look at here. It says all aspects of your life, your career and love. Within this year, you got helpful people will be sent into your life to help support you through these changes. Helpful people. See, toiling and laboring, doing it by yourself. 
But this year, you won't have to do it by yourself. The community spirit is sending helpful people as you undergo this transformation, this transformation in your life. Then we got here a friendly connection. <laughs> this is cute, Cancers. A friendly connection will bloom into a romance. You may feel an excited nervousness as this time. I'm sorry, you may feel an excited nervousness at this time as it will bring forth an unexpected deepening of emotions. And that's that love we were talking about. So what is that about? Let's see what that's about. How about that? What is this friendly connection for cancers? Tell me more. So you're letting go of old situation, old wounds, outgrowing certain people, right? So what's this friendly connection that's going to bloom into more for cancers? The Queen of Cups. Tell me more. The Ten of Swords. Everything is fine. Hmm. This makes me feel like there's someone that you're going to be talking to. I feel like whoever this person is, you may have in common... Like some sort of pain, some sort of betrayal. And you're going to be talking. Because, yeah, see here, at work. So I, I feel like here, this is someone friendly that you're going to be talking to and communicating with about previous betrayals that you've been through. Both of you may have been through it, but you're going to be able to talk to this person about this. This may be someone you meet at work. Or someone that's going to be helping you in some sort of business endeavor. The Empress is coming in. Hmm. Let's put this together. Dropping your guard. The Seven of Wands. Whoever this person is. Remember we saw the Seven of Wands. Setting strict boundaries. You're going to relax those boundaries with this person. You're, attra you're going to be in this energy here where you're attracting love, friendly people. It says unexpected. Here comes the page of cups. This is a friend. This person is going to be crushing on you. Tell me, tell me about this person. They, they like how nurturing and sweet and loving you are. And they also find you attractive. This person likes the way that you dress. There, they, they, there's something about how you dress, how you look, that they love. This is a crush. They're, they're going to start, I feel like it initially may be friendly, but they're going to start to crush on you and not openly say it right away. The King of Pentacles is in reverse. So the reason why they may not say is because we got judgment because they feel like you may judge them because they don't have, there's something that they're lacking financially. Yeah, yeah, see here, the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there is some sort of financial situation here that they are lacking. They feel like you may be more, because you got great fortune, so that may be intimidating to this person. But I feel like they're going to get you to let their guard, get you to let your guard down. Like you're going to be open with them, talking to them about the things that you've gone through. But I feel like what's going to be impressive to this person is that despite what you went through, you still have love. You're still welcome. You're still welcoming love. Hold on, my camera's blinking. My battery. Yeah, like I was saying, despite what you went through, there's still a lot of love that you have to give and want to give. You're definitely going to be operating in your energy of this Queen of Cups. And this person is going to be crushing on you. But they're not going to make it known right away. Because like I said, this person feels intimidated by your success. They feel intimidated by your accomplishments, by your money. What else can you tell us about this person? Mm, okay. Oh, wow. We got the King of Cups and the Sun card coming in. Oh, wow. This person is really going to... It's going to go from the page. They're going to go from the page to the king. Like, they're going to... It's going to be like... It's like not... 
it's going to be like uh like having these deep feelings for you but not expressing them they're going to be sitting on these feelings like they're going to be happy just to see you just to be around you this is an interesting energy. Let me see. Tell me more about this person. Some of you may have already met them, but there's something about their feelings for you. We got here a spiritual bath that flipped over. There's something about your spirituality that they love. How soothing you are, how calm, how healing, how nurturing. This person's going to be in love with you. It's going to go from a crush to being in love. Here comes, uh, look at here, journey. Look at that. Something about your journey. I told you, look, look at that. Here it is twice. Journey is coming out. There's something about what you've gone through and how spiritual you are that the two of you are going to connect. Now, I am telling you this. Like, I feel like this is someone whose life is not very stable, which is why they're going to sit on their feelings. They're not going to be very vocal about how they feel about you because they don't feel prepared to have a... Uh, a serious relationship at the moment now this is the king of pentacles so i don't feel like this is someone that doesn't have anything i just feel like they don't have what you have and they may be struggling right now they may be going through some sort of financial situation that's holding them back and they feel like they you deserve more this is a soulmate you got the king and queen of cups the king and queen of pentacles this is a soulmate We got regret coming in. What's the regret around them? Promise. They regret some sort of promise. What is this promise that they regret? Waiting. Why they, they made some sort of promise to wait until they got their money together. That's what I'm seeing here. Like, and they, they're going to regret it. Why are they going to regret waiting? Because it seems like here they're sitting back and they're in love with you, sitting on their feelings and not telling you how they feel. And it looks like they made some sort of promise to wait until they got their money together, but it looks like they're going to regret it. Why are they going to regret it? Mm, okay. Because you may be going out with someone else. Date, because I'm telling you, I told you a lot of people are going to be interested in you. A lot of people, you're going to be dating someone else. And look at here, now I'm scared. I may have waited too long. All right, that's what I'm getting here with this person. Let's see what this journey is about for you guys. Um, Holy Spirit, tell me about cancer and this journey. We've seen Journey come through twice for you all. This year will provide some big changes. So some sort of journey when it comes to standing up for yourself is what you've been on. Defending yourself, protecting yourself. That's part of your journey to defend and protect yourself. You've learned a lot. Yes, here's the King, the king of Swords is coming in. There's something about truth, honesty, and integrity. That's what you stand for. You stand for the truth. You stand for honesty. You stand for integrity. You stand for what's fair and what's just. And you don't back down from your principles. You're not backing down from your principles. Yep, see, wisdom. You've gained a lot of wisdom. Your journey has brought you some favorable insight. A lot of self-reflection, what's important to you. And I feel like you went into like this deep soul searching. Having to be by yourself has taught you a lot. You've learned a lot being by yourself. The journey of a hermit. And here comes a tower moment. What is this tower moment? Let me use this deck. What's this tower moment for cancers? Some sort of divine intervention. Oh, look at here. Going back and forth. You got a, another soul connection here. Yep, you got two soul connections. One of them ended because you were waiting. You were waiting and you stopped waiting. And remember we saw that. You outgrew a situation. You got two soul connections coming in. Mm. 
you're going to get some sort of surprise about it. Let me see. Tell me more. It's part of your journey. And we got here a three. Yep, see, three. A triangle. You're going to be surprised to find yourself in the love triangle. And that's why we saw the king and queen of cups and the king and queen of pentacles. Because you got two soulmates. And then we see, yep, see here, look at your world. And look at the Ace of Wands. There's something that's about to start a new chapter for you. And it's another soulmate chapter. One came to a completion, and here is the start of another one. Mm-hmm, told you, new chapter, the full. A new chapter. But the thing about it is you've learned a lot. So you will know how to navigate the next soulmate connection. You have another soulmate. You don't just have one. You experience this one and then now you have another one. But I feel like they're both going to be playing out as part of your journey. But remember I started off by telling you, you know, you know what to look for. You know what you stand for. You know what your boundaries are. So you're not going into this next chapter with this next soulmate blind. You're going into that next chapter very wise. You're about to start a new chapter with another soulmate. Yeah, but the other one is not done. Because remember we talked about the other one. Um, what did I say about that person? I totally forgot. They're afraid of intimacy. But I feel like they're going to be spying. There's going to be some sort of spying. Tell me about this spying. Yeah. You, oh, this other person is going to be watching you in a relationship with someone else. What? Remember we saw dating and romancing? Somebody is going to watch you in a relationship with someone else. They're going to be spying to see what you're doing with another person. Yeah, they want to come back to you. So you, you're going to be in a relationship with someone else or dating someone else. And someone from your past is going to be watching because they want to come back into your life. But they're going to be watching you be with another person. You're going to be single though. The nine of pentacles is showing single. So you may just be dating. And this person is going to be watching you date other people. We already saw um, both. It looks like two people are going to both feel some type of way about you being <laughs> single and dating. Yeah, look at here. We got a judgment. What's the judgment for cancer? A judgment about your intuition. What's this judgment about? You're awakened to your intuition. And what does that mean for cancer? It means something unfortunate. Victory. I don't know, guys. I'm getting here with this seven of cups, some sort of confusion. I feel like you are awakened to something unfortunate that happened. Something having to do with like false hope. Like I feel like having your head in the clouds. It makes me feel like something to do with. It makes me feel like the last time you felt something unfortunate, like a red flag. You may have had like this wishful hope that this person would change or they were still your person despite the red flag and I feel like you've awakened to that like how unfortunate it is like it's kind of like a weird energy because I feel like like you may have felt as though the last time you had these deep feelings this deep intuitive feelings it led to unfortunate for you so I feel like you've learned to navigate that in a different way that's going to lead to victory for you. It's like making me feel like I'm not going to have my head in the clouds. I'm going to be the king of swords. I'm going to be emotionally detached. I'm going to judge you with a clear head and not keep my head in the clouds. That's what I'm getting here with this. It's like head over heart, head over feelings. And you feel like that's what's going to bring you victory and success when it comes to relationships. 
Here comes another tower moment. Oh my gosh. <sighs> That's why it says here this year will provide some big changes for you. You got two tower moments already showing up. What you yep, what you've manifested is gonna shock the hell out of you. All right, so what's this tower moment? Tell me the prophecy for Cancer's tower moment and part of their journey. Within this year, you may find yourself with options in love in which you will have to make a decision to choose between two or more. Two or more suitors. And the under our energy shows here, a heartbreak will come to pass. So I feel like if anything, you're going to break someone's heart. You're going to have two or more. And I told you guys that I felt like it's going to be more than two. And you're going to be surprised that you're a, you're a magnet, the empress. You're a magnet, the, the queen of cups, love, beauty, attraction. You're attracting this into your life. You're going to be surprised because you're going to be breaking someone's heart. Let me pull one more prophecy for you guys. I told you, you got more than um, two people coming your way. The intentions of a secret. I told you, a secret admirer. I told you guys, the intentions of a secret admirer will become known. I told you, there's this person that has feelings for you. It's going to go from a crush to being in love. They're going to start out as being friendly with you. Someone you're able to talk to. And they're going to make their intentions known because they have been holding back for financial reasons. But they're going to speak up because they see the attention that you're getting and they don't want to miss their chance. But you also have this past love. Let me pull a card about this past love because I don't feel like they're out of the picture either. Tell me about the past love over here. What's going to happen with cancer and this past love? Look at here. See? Dark night of the soul. They're going to be stressing out. Whoever this person is, when it comes to you, they're going to be going through a dark night because you got all this attention. Clarify. Look at here. The Three of Cups is in reverse. Because, yeah, the Three of Cups. See, you did not. Didn't we see the Three of Cups? You're going to have three suitors. You're going to have three people. Three people that's going to want your attention. This is why they're stressed out because they see the attention that you're getting. This past love, dark night. Why are they going through a dark night? Because of all the attention that you're getting and feeling like they don't have a chance. It's going to, they're going to feel haunted by this. What else can you tell me? Yep, the Queen of Wands. See, I told you attraction. Confident. We saw confident. The Queen of Wands is very confident. And we already saw you in the King of Swords. Head over heart. I'm, I'm doing things differently now. I'm confident. I'm, I'm, a, I'm sure of myself. I feel strong. I'm, I, I'm not attached to the outcome anymore. I'm just dating. I'm just being free. I'm being single and enjoying all of this attention. I'm back to myself. Yeah, I want love, but I'm not going to just throw myself out there anymore. I'm going to act smart, wiser. I'm going to act wiser now because of my journey, because of my lessons. I now know how to navigate this differently. Anything else? And this, and, and this person is not being met with the same you. You're a new because remember, you already feel like you've outgrown this toxic relationship. They're going to be met with a different person. You're not the same person that they once was dealing with. You're confident now. You don't need them. You're not clinging to them. And this eating them up. Yeah, and look at here. I you're going to reject that cup. Let's pull a prophecy for this connection and we'll close out your reading. I feel like you're going to reject the cup. They're going to be miserable. Because look at here, you got all these cups. And they like, I want to send you a cup. And you're like, I don't want your cup. I've outgrown that. I've outgrown toxic relationships. I'm wiser. I'm smarter now. I know my worth. Someone you have grown suspicious of will prove that they could be trusted. So you may be suspicious of this person, but they're coming across. Because remember I told you, this person has some intimacy issues. I feel like they were, you were, had a right to be suspicious of them. But because of something that they went through... I feel like it has changed them. So even though you may not want them, they're coming with the truth. Tables are definitely turning. A love interest is taking advantage of your kind nature. Their ingenuity will cause you distress. See, this is them. 
because they took you they took you for granted it's causing them distress this is why yeah they're going to be coming because they're going to be trusted this time but they're beating themselves up because they took advantage of the queen of cups kind nature they took advantage of you and they're beating themselves up for how they treated you because now you got options and you in their mind and probably even in your mind it seems like you don't want them there you have it cancers there you have it so how this play out is going to be up to you i feel like you're going to be single and free and mingling and enjoying yourself but um yeah you got two big tower moments so you got this year is going to be a very powerful year for you guys in love and in business best of luck to you guys bye